Today's review will be of the Yeti Nano by Blue USB microphone. The Yeti Nano by Blue comes in a pretty nice retail box, feels sturdy, doesn't look cheap, has pretty much all the info you'd need to make a decision on the outside of the box, and when you pull the packaging out of the retail box you'll see it's a nice solid cardboard and inside that is a nice foam cover that does a really good job of protecting the device. If you're not going to have it up all the time, I might actually suggest keeping this packaging and putting the Yeti Nano back into it. Works really well. Inside the box, you have a 20% off when you register card. You have your warranty card. You have some quick start guides and just some general information where to actually download the Sherpa app, things like that. It's pretty basic. You take the mic out of the box and plug it in and you're up and running. Once you've installed the Yeti Nano, which basically includes plugging the USB into the microphone and into your PC, unless you need to use the included uh, mic stand adapter, which normally you won't unless you're using a separate mic stand, you go to Blue's website and download the Sherpa app which there's a card inside the box that tells you exactly where to get it. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to see on the home screen you have, if you register, you get a discount on some accessories, and you'll have your device with the serial number, everything there. And up at the top, you have the home button, and, the, and what I have is Yeti Nano, since that's the only device I have. If you click that, it takes you to the settings screen, where you can adjust your mic gain, you can change it from cardioid to omni, you can also adjust the playback level for the built-in uh, headphone jack on the actual device. You can also again see your serial number and at the bottom there's some links to take you to the different blue pages, you know YouTube, Twitter, SoundCloud has a bunch of uh, sample audios and you can also register your device or take it to the shop to buy more blue devices if you want. There's also a firmware button there. If you click that, you can get the latest firmware for the microphone, which is a nice touch. As you can see, this is right out of the box. There's actually no firmware necessary. And I don't know how often they're actually going to be updating firmware, but it's a nice thing to have. For a quick sound test, you can hear this is me, my voice on the Yeti Nano. Here's my voice on the PC microphone, which is a Realtek High Definition Array microphone. I think the difference is pretty clear, even with my plug nose, since I've had a cold for the last week. It's pretty obvious that the Array microphones on the PC are not nearly as good as this Yeti Nano. My overall thoughts and impressions on the Yeti Nano by Blue are it's a good microphone. I think it's a good option for the sub $100 microphone set. It doesn't have a boatload of features, but you don't really need it, and it is plug and go. Technically, you can operate it without even downloading the Sherpa app. There's a mute button right on the device, as well as the ability to change between cardioid and omni modes. There's also a headphone jack on the back, so it's kind of an all-in-one solution. I think it's a good deal. I'd say it's probably a four and a half star out of five if I had to give it a rating. I like it, and we'll see if it stands the test of time, but so far, I think it's doing quite well. Thanks for watching my review of the Yeti Nano by Blue. If you felt this video was helpful, please go ahead and give me a like or subscribe. If you think there's something I can do better, feel free to drop me a line, and I'll try to do better next time. Bye-bye.